So we start by looking at this painting by Inchbold, and it's a painting uh, of which Ruskin would definitely have approved. Um, it's painted in Scotland, uh, off the Isle of Skye, Cuillen Moor, and clearly it's before photography. So if you just think about that for a minute, he went out there, set up his easel. The question I want to ask you is this, and I'll give you a moment to think about it, and you could even discuss it. What's that painting about? What's the theme, what's the artist trying to say in that painting? So he's trying to capture the beauty of the landscape kind of thing at certain, right. times, at certain time of day. And yeah. He's obviously trying to get it as realistically as possible. Yes. But he's also trying to get all the colours to stand out. Right. So, do you want to add to that? Is that about... Um, like trying to preserve what that is at the moment, like the, the nature, the beauty of it, because it might be gone in the future, I think. Oh, right. So it nature. could be about ecology. Yeah. That's an interesting thought. Um, when that was painted, um, we're talking, uh, what, 1855? Uh, they probably wouldn't have been too aware of those the issues of which we're so conscious at the moment, but you're absolutely right. There's something very fragile about it, isn't there? And, uh, yeah, anything else? It's about beauty. It's about keeping the fragility of the world, or because it may pass. The beauty and the colour, anything else? He's tried to recreate like, the textures. Yes. Is how he's done it, like say the mountains are lots smoother than the, say how he's done the grass. Yes, okay, yeah, anything else? Well in a way you're touching on it of course, you're getting it right. It's a painting about geology. Geology was a new science and here he's really interested in rock formation and these mountain tops here would have been like the folded paper of a book that had been pushed up, as you probably know, by the, the, the power of the rocks. They were fascinated by that. And here you've got the way that rock has not only sort of fractured and layered into strata, but you've also, he's telling us, that it's worn down by the, the action of the water. So, in fact, Ruskin had a substantial collection of rocks. And he was very interested in the new science of geology and the age of the earth. So it's partly about that. It's also partly um, about botany, about plants, because these are the exact plants and lichen that would grow on those rocks. And the reason it's so precise is because he doesn't want to make a mistake. He wants to get the right plants on the right rocks in that light. And as you said about the light, it's also a painting about physics. <laughs> it's about the way light falls and the way that the light changes at certain times of the day. So in fact you could say that is a painting about science. About the, it's, it's as though you were painting now about cosmology because we now see the world as absolutely, the universe is massive, no idea. But it's that new science and, and that's what it's about. Okay, so keep those thoughts in your mind. Should we have a look at the second painting?